Hey guys, what's going on? It's Whitley Jane here coming on to give you guys, offer you guys a free mini training today. So I was feeling called to talk about a, a topic specifically around beliefs. So basically what I want to cover in today's little mini training, I'm really going to keep it sweet and short, short and sweet. <laughs> Hey, Allison, I'm going to keep it short and sweet to about 10 minutes, maybe 12 minutes tops. So in this little mini training, I want to talk about what a belief is, basically like what a belief is, um, where you get your beliefs, the difference between positive beliefs and negative beliefs, and what beliefs are actually like holding you back in your journey right now and preventing you from stepping into the next version of yourself. So I wanna cover that and then I wanna give you an action step that you can take away today that you can actually implement and apply to your life that's gonna move you a step further in your journey. So just give me one moment before I dive into this. Hey Erin, hey girl, how are you? I'm just gonna go on to um, Facebook here and share this video out so that I can get it out to, you know, as many people as possible. Hey, Angela. Hey, girl. How are you? Okay, I'm loving this. All right. So my question for you right now, as we're waiting, my question for you, and I just want you to drop it in the comments and let me know, um, what does the next level version of you look like? And you can use one word, you can use a couple of words, describe it in any way that you want, but what does the next level version of yourself, what does that look like? What does she look like? All right, so as you guys are commenting, I'm gonna share this on over to my page here. Hey Tiff, how's it going, girl? <sighs> the sun is shining, it's a beautiful day. Oh, I'm loving it. Okay, bear with me. Just trying to do this super, super quick. So then I don't have to, perfect. Okay, I think that's I think that's good. All right, so as you guys are jumping on, and share this video too, because I feel like this can be helpful to anybody wherever they're at in their journey. So feel free to share this out. But okay, so I wanna talk about the power of your beliefs. Hey Rob, clean and sober and happy. Oops, you said she, my bad. That's okay, no, that's okay, it's totally fine. I love that and I wanna celebrate you for that. That is amazing and such a huge like milestone to be proud of. So kudos, thanks for sharing, that's amazing. Erin saying healthy, accomplished and ready. Yes, girl, I can totally, totally relate with that. Like feeling healthy, hel healthy, feeling healthy, taking care of our bodies and just like doing the things that are moving us forward into our purpose, into the things that like light us up to serve the world in a greater way. So let me dive into this. I know we only have a few minutes. So what is a belief? I wanna know what your take is on what you believe, what is a belief to you? And just pop it in the comments. But basically for me, a belief is basically an idea, an idea that you see as true. That's really what a belief is. It's like, it's an idea, a statement, or something that you believe is true in your reality. That is what a belief is. And so there are positive beliefs and there's negative beliefs. But how are beliefs formed? That's another thing. How do we form these beliefs that we have about the world, about ourselves, about other people, um, about what's possible, what's not possible? How are those beliefs formed? Tiffany saying, hi, the next version of me is healthier, stronger, more committed, and even more dedicated to create impact in the world around me. Yes, sis, and I totally see that. I see you showing up and I see you doing the work and I see you standing in your light and I just wanna like celebrate you on that, Tiffany. So a belief, um, where do we get our beliefs from? Where do they come from? So for some of you guys, pop them in the comments. Where do you think that most of your beliefs have come from? Now, some of you are going to say our parents, our teachers, our family, our friends, um, our environment, the media even. So the reality is we adapt beliefs and we take on beliefs from our exterior, the outside world. We pick these beliefs up from other people, places, and experiences. So some experiences will actually form a belief 
inside of you. Hey dad, what's going on? This is awesome. I'm loving that people are like jumping on live right now because I wasn't sure about the time, but this is great. So chime in on the conversation guys. And if you're catching the replay, uh, still comment because I always love going back in and reading them and responding to your comments. So I will get to them. So of course, we have beliefs that come from all over the place and from different people. And, and so what I really want to shed light on is that like our beliefs really hold so much power in our lives. And let me know if you agree with that statement. Our beliefs hold so much power in our lives. And the reason being is because our beliefs shape our reality. So depending on the belief system that you have for yourself and about the world around you is going to basically give you the reality that you're living today, essentially. Uh, Paul saying, from my experiences and learnings combined with my ideas of right and wrong. Absolutely. Experiences, totally. Yes, that's a good one. I like that you put that in there. Um, but it is essential to really identify the beliefs that we have about ourselves and about the world around us because what we think what we think forms a belief and and our beliefs really shape our reality and so if you believe that being able to sh show up and be a business owner and to grow a successful business if you can believe that then chance you're going to be able to take the steps necessary to show up and build that successful business. Now, if you believe money doesn't grow on trees because maybe you heard that from your parents and your parents heard that from their parents, then you're going to show up in your reality thinking that money's hard to come by and maybe money's gonna be scarce and almost have you're almost gonna have a lack mentality around money because in your subconscious, you believe that money's hard to come by. So are you guys picking up what I'm putting down right now? Our beliefs literally shape everything around us. And so it's so, so like critical that we sit down and we actually figure out what beliefs we have that are serving us and what beliefs that we have that are not serving us. So some, there's two types of beliefs. We've got positive beliefs, which are self-empowering, self-serving beliefs these beliefs move us forward. And then we have negative beliefs. And these beliefs oftentimes keep us held back. And so negative beliefs are something that we really want to identify in our journey. So today I, I want to basically give you an exercise that's going to help you taking to, to, to take action in that next step that maybe you haven't been taking action in, because you have beliefs that are preventing you from taking that action. So what I want you to ask yourself is um, this. I want you to just ask yourself, what's one thing that I really, really want to accomplish? What does that next version of myself look like? And what are some of the beliefs that I may have subconsciously, what are some of the beliefs that I may have that are holding me back from stepping into that version of myself? And so the first thing that we wanna do when we're addressing our beliefs is to recognize the belief. We need to recognize it because if we don't recognize it, then we have no awareness over it. And then of course we don't have any power to change it. But let me tell you this, it doesn't matter how long that you've had a belief or you could have, carry a belief with you all your life you can literally get rid of that belief and replace it with a new empowering belief. And you do this through repetition. You do this through repetition and there's a number of ways you can do this and there's tools that you can do that will help you be able to do this. Um, but the first step that you ultimately have to take is to be able to recognize what is that belief that's holding me back. So let me give you an example. If you believe that you have to work hard for money, then typically that could hold you back from shining in your light, that could hold you back from building the business that you wanna create, that could hold you back through a number of things that you ultimately want to do. 
And the reason being is because maybe if you have this belief in the back of your mind that money, you have to work super hard for money, that it is exhausting and you have to put in hours upon hours upon hours of, of hard work to get it done. A lot of these like physical challenges will actually keep you back and almost keep you in a mindset into a fear mindset. And so it's almost as though you will not, you won't commit because you're afraid of that failure. You're afraid to fail because that limiting belief in the back of your mind is saying you have to work extra hard to make money. And so if you're already working a nine to five job and you want to go out and build a business and you're also taking care of your kids, you're taking care of your family in your mind, you're thinking, Oh my gosh, I can't do that. I can't build a business because it takes hard work. It's going to take a lot of hard work. And, and for me to actually build a business that's making money and it's going to take me aside. It's going to take me away from all the other things. And it's just going to add things onto my plate. Do you guys kind of follow what I'm saying right now? I hope I'm using a clear example, <laughs> but basically it's these little subconscious beliefs, limiting beliefs that we have in the back of our minds that we may not even necessarily know that are there. And so what I want you to do today is take that first step, recognizing what are some of the limiting beliefs that you may have that are stopping you from taking action on the goals or the dreams that you have for yourself. And then step two is to actually ask yourself, in what ways has this held me back? In what ways is this holding me back? And then the last step, the third step, is to take that, that limiting belief that you wrote down and reverse it. I want you to flip it and I want you to write down a new empowering self-serving belief that will move you forward. So let's think of an example of this. Maybe you're somebody who is, um, of course, when I have to give an example, I'm like right on the spot and I don't have one. And me, I'm so like off the fly. I don't have <laughs> notes of the examples. Um, but let's say that you're somebody who is, you know, searching for your purpose, okay? You're searching for your purpose. And this entire time you've had these beliefs that you have to work a nine to five job, that's the way it is, and that's how it will always ever be for you. And because your parents grew up, you grew up with your parents and, and that belief saying like, you go to school, you graduate, you get a good paying job, and you stay in that job until you retire. And so that really doesn't leave any space for you to go outside of that paradigm, outside of that box to explore the things that you're most passionate about. And so that belief that you have to stay in a nine to five job in order to be successful and to achieve and to accomplish and to take care of your family and all that stuff, there's no room outside of that for you to actually seek your purpose, which is not true. You only made that true. You're only making that true because that's what you tell yourself is true. But nothing is true until you give that energy of it being true. Do you know what I mean? So the power of your beliefs shape your reality in such a way that whatever you're telling yourself is what is going to be true for you in your reality. That's what's going to show up for you in your reality. And so if that next version, that next level version of yourself looks like something other than what you're living right now, then you've got to change your beliefs. There's something inside that is telling you different. And so you need to flip it in a way where it is in alignment with where you want to be and who you want to be. So take the 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 limiting beliefs that you come up with and I challenge you to flip them in a way where it is positive it's a positive belief and it's a self-serving belief that will take you closer to that goal so um, with that there are so many limiting beliefs that we have in our subconscious mind because our subconscious mind runs like a program it runs on autopilot so most times we don't even know that these programs are running on autopilot. It's just years and years and years of conditioning of our outer world, that's all it is. But once you can have that recognition and awareness of the things that we're thinking and the beliefs that we have for ourselves, once we can recognize that, we are able to really take our power back and be able to rewrite the narrative, rewrite the story for ourselves so that it is in alignment with who we want to be 
so that we can move forward into stepping into that person who we dream to be, who we desire to be. Because most often, most people are just running on this like hamster wheel with the same beliefs, with the same thoughts, the same emotions, wondering why they're not getting any further, why they're not getting ahead because they're running with the same belief system on autopilot and they don't even realize it. And that's what's holding them back. For the most part, that is really what's holding you back from stepping into that next level version of you. So this is something that I dive deep into, into uh, my four week coaching program, uh, the Find Your Path program that I just launched yesterday. And so this is something that I dive deep in with these, with um, my students, because this is something that is, this is an area that needs work, it needs attention. And for me personally, when I had to do this inner work and to really understand what limiting beliefs I had that were preventing me from stepping into that next level version of myself, um, I wasn't able to move forward. I was like hitting my head against a, a brick wall and I was like spinning my wheels. And I'm like, why ain't I getting any further? How come I'm not getting ahead? Because I realized there was programs, beliefs that I had running on autopilot, which I had no idea of that were actually keeping me held back. And until I was able to get that recognition to have that awareness, then was the time that I was able to like actually start to change those limiting beliefs into empowering beliefs and to actually reprogram my my beliefs and to reprogram essentially my mindset to be able to serve the person I am right now today. And it's always a continuous journey. You're always growing, you're always evolving. And even though I'm in that next level version of myself right now, I will always be evolving into the next level version of myself and so will you. But the question is, hey Sherry, the question is are you ready to do the work? Are you ready to invest in yourself so that you can stop spinning your wheels and actually move forward with ease and with grace? Because it's not fun being in that spot where you're like, I'm doing this, I'm, I'm doing the work and I'm, you know, I'm a hard worker and I've overcome so much. Why can't I just get to that next spot in my life? And there are so many things. And so inside my four week pro coaching program, we dive really deep into these things. We dive so deep into your mindset, into your behaviors, into your fears and limiting beliefs to really be, to pro reprogram them, essentially to reprogram them so that you can build that confidence up and to build that self belief up so that you have that clarity as well to step into your purpose and pave your own path and leave your mark on this world. Really, that's what you're, that's, that's what you're here to do. And I know that there are things that are holding you back from that. And that's why I created this coaching program to help you and guide you through those blocks so that you don't have to feel stuck and frustrated any longer. So inside this coaching program, guys, I'm super excited about it. It starts next Tuesday. Um, enrollment's open right now. And we are, you'll have access to an online portal to all the training videos. And I'm not somebody who's just going to like throw some videos on. I'm going to give you homework too. So you're going to have assignments to actually do because there's, there's no, um, you have to you have to take action if you want to learn and you want to move forward and you want to grow you have to take action it's just that it's just that simple so you'll have access to the online portal to all the training videos but on top of that you're going to be put inside a private facebook group with moi and all the other students there are only 20 spots i will say that um so you'll have access to that Facebook group, but you're also going to get that weekly one hour group coaching with me so that any questions that you have or any, um, you know, challenges or blocks that you might hit throughout the training videos, you can totally bring all of that to the coaching calls and I will coach and walk you through it. So you're going so again you're going to have access to the online training portal with all the training videos you're going to have access to that private facebook group with a community of other people and then you're also going to have that weekly group coaching with me so you're going to go from being stuck and unclear about what your path is and what your purpose is to having absolute clarity on where you're headed where you're going what your purpose is in this world what you've been meant 
to bring to the world to help the to help to help people and so that's that's the thing I want to take you from being stuck and unclear about where you're going to knowing exactly what you're meant to do in this world and then how obviously giving you the tools and the training and the strategies to working through that mindset those limiting beliefs and all those things that we fear that keep us from showing up as our authentic selves and also giving you that gift as well to build that confidence as you show up in your purpose so with that guys i'm gonna drop the um i'm gonna drop the link here to the uh enrollment page there's more information on it it kind of breaks it down a little bit more for you but i will say this it is um enrollment closes next week we start next tuesday i'm only opening it up for 20 spots this time around. Um, I wanna be able to give all of my attention and my focus to the students who enroll for uh, enroll for this, this program. So I'm only accepting 20 people and once those spots are filled up, it will be closed. Um, I'm trying to see if there's anything else that I wanted to cover. All right, so I just put the link up there. You guys can check it out. You can enroll over there. The price of the 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 price of the program is 197. Now it's regularly 397, but because I'm feeling super called to offer this to the women who are really looking to find their purpose, I'm feeling so called to do this right now because right now I feel like we're all being push to grow outside of our comfort zones and to really show up with what we're meant to do here. And I was that girl for so long hitting my head against the brick wall, trying to figure out what am I here to do? And I just know how it feels. And I've figured it out and I'm here now showing up in my most authentic self and here to guide you on your own journey. So with that guys, Thank you so much. If you guys have questions about it, please feel free to reach out to me. You can email me at WhitleyJane at gmail.com. With that, have a blessed and beautiful day and I will see you later. Bye guys.